Hey folks, it's time for another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. We're now going to return to the tune Groundhog and add a variation that I made up based on the round peak style of Tommy Jarrow. Hope you like it. so on and so forth. So some things that are added, just the broad strokes or double stops. A lot of droning like G and G, like low G and high G, D3 and open G. Same thing with D. And then one other double stop open, D and, and A1, which forms a G chord. The whole tune pretty much is in G. So, um, if you saw the basic lesson, you learned, we learned how to play that, which is basically a vocal version, and then we actually practice singing and chording that. So in this, we're going to focus on this particular version, and I'm just going to play the quarter. So I'm going to start with the first quarter. Now the basic first quarter was... And so, in... The first quarter of this version, we're going to start with a pickup that is kind of a syncopated note that leads into it. It's easier to play it though than explain it. I'm going to break it down. So we're starting with open G and D3. So that's the, a really good piece to loop. And the tricky thing about this tune, I really believe in looping parts to get them and to get flow and to make it musical. If you follow Fiddlehead, then you've heard me say this hundreds of times and you're like, okay, we've heard that all before. But the particular thing about this one is that you have to set the loop points a little before the bar begins to really get the proper flow. So a quarter note, to be precise, a quarter note before the bar begins. So that note that begins is a quarter note tied to an eighth note. I have the sheet music, which if you read, I have the sheet music on Fiddlehead, and if you read, it'll help a lot. But also just listening deeply to it will help you. So what I'm gonna do now and feel free to join in, is to loop on this section. If you get that loop, you get that intricate rhythm down, I think that the rest of the tune, there's a lot of other challenges in this variation, but that process, if you just carry it forth, you'll be able to do the whole thing, okay? So, I'm not gonna talk too much about the bowing directions in the video lesson because they're in the sheet, the, the slurring is described in the sheet music but I'll just briefly down, up, and I think that one little tip is when there's a certain point you can put a little accent. You don't have to, it just adds a cool feeling to it. Alright, so let's move on and do the second quarter. Broken down further. So 
So again, I'm ending just before the end of the bar because where I'm leading at the next note is actually a pickup to the following bar. In the same way we could loop this bar and really to get the flow, the rhythm of it, and you can play with the tempo, slowing it down, speeding it up. So we'll start at a medium tempo. I'll do it slower in a loop. And I'm gonna take away the double stops. This is another great strategy of see how you can simplify music. If you're if you're in any way possible, if you're reading, take away slurs, take away, depending on what you're working on, I'm gonna now take away double stops. Slowing down. faster. Tip for going faster, play it more casual, use less energy. Most of the time when people start to try to play faster, they get more tense, they use more energy, and that really defeats it a lot more. Just be more kickback, just think, no big deal, it's casual, just like kind of talking. It's like you're barely using any energy. All right, so, and then once more with the full, with double stops, this is a D, two Ds, low and high. Moving on to the third chord, I'll do it slowly with the pickup. Three. But that could be a lot slower. Let's try it. One, two, three. starting with A1 and open D. And I'm using fourth finger to play this A. All right, and now for the fourth quarter. One, two, three. That's the whole tune. Let me know if you have any questions, but I think that there's a lot in there. If you really, I'll just say it again, because it's so important. If you can loop one quarter, that's kind of the magic part. But sometimes the loop, you can find ways to loop a smaller part. Actually, maybe you could loop the first bar. be helpful or not it, it might help you to get the flow of the rhythm but I think that this the, the kind of core thing to loop would be a chord uh, let me know how it goes let me know how you practice this thing because I'm learning from you too all right so thanks for watching see you soon Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.